So what is the future of WoW? Well, I guess that's up to you to define. What we know for sure is that we will be getting official hardcore servers and even another season. But there hasn't been any information about this new season yet, so we don't know if it's going to be a Classic Plus version of the game or maybe just another season with some minor changes. My own Classic experience didn't really turn out to be the way that I was hoping for and expected it to be. When I watched many different streamers, I always noticed how they min-maxed every single thing. So I felt like I had to do this myself to be able to even compete with them or to make sure that I wasn't way too far behind. So before the launch of WoW Classic, I practiced my own leveling to make sure I wouldn't be way too far behind. This also worked out, and yeah, I was one of the first level 60s on my server. This also made me able to invest into things that people sold for next to nothing. And on top of this, I also managed to farm 1000 Black Lotus before most people were even level 60. I sold all the Black Lotus and ended up with more than 60,000 gold. And this was during phase 1 when most people couldn't even afford the epic mount. So I can imagine the frustration when people finally realized that someone on their server had 60,000 gold while they couldn't even get 1000 gold themselves. One of the things that I remember the most, and this was also the time when I was thinking about quitting WoW Classic, and this was during the launch week. All of a sudden a stream starts, and we see a guild clearing Molten Core. So I mean, the most difficult raid that is currently available has already been cleared, and we are talking about launch week. So now we had a guild who had cleared Molten Core, and most people were still in their mid-20s or 30s, or some were even stuck at the login queue. So because of these streams, then it seemed like many players min-maxed the game, and this pushed more people to start min-maxing. So instead of enjoying the leveling and making friends and doing group quests, then all of a sudden it just became a rush thing. You had to reach level 60 fast, you had to gear up as fast as possible and make a ton of gold, so you could brag about these items to your guildies or maybe even on a stream. So what I learned from this is that the next time we get a fresh classic server, for example the upcoming hardcore server, then I plan to just chill way more. This is also why I'm looking forward to hardcore because this time I can finally enjoy the ride the way that I was supposed to enjoy it back in 2019. Official Hardcore will most likely also be my final step in my World of Warcraft journey. Because this year, the most important thing in my life is going to happen, I'm going to become a dad. So I'll most likely be able to enjoy Hardcore for one or two months. So what other things is on the horizon of World of Warcraft? Well, ever since they introduced the WoW token in Wrath of the Lich King Classic, there has been a decline in subscribers. And it seems like more people are all of a sudden into World of Warcraft private servers. And because of this, then some popular private servers has announced they're going to release new fresh servers anytime soon. And because of Vanilla, Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King Classic, then the private servers has been able to gather useful information to improve the quality of their upcoming servers. And because of the WoW token, but also many other big issues in WoW Classic, then more and more starts to boycott Blizzard and look into private servers instead. And because there's also been an increased amount for WoW Classic Plus as the next season, then more people has all of a sudden also started to play on a server that offers Vanilla Plus. So we might see more private servers that will start to peak and get a lot more players anytime soon. What we gotta remember is that we're going to get a new season. Blizzard has already confirmed that it's not going to be Season of Mastery 2, so maybe it is going to be Classic Plus. However, I don't really think they'll put so much effort into the game. I mean, introducing new classes, raids, dungeons, or maybe even quests, it will take so much time. But it would definitely be cool if there was something like this done to the game. That way, you couldn't just look up a guide for the most efficient way to level up your character or the correct spec to play at max level. You would have to explore things for yourself and then decide what would be the best thing to choose. But let's be honest, it would take way too much effort. Right now they don't even have a proper anti-cheat in WoW Classic and you can fly hack and do a lot of other things without getting detected. So it will most likely just be another season with some class changes and maybe some other minor adjustments. 
What do you believe the next season will be? Season of Mastery 2? Or maybe a Classic Plus version? Let me know your opinion and thoughts in a comment below the video. And if you have time, then I would be so grateful if you could go to the channel and answer this text poll. What would you prefer? Season of Mastery 2 or Classic Plus? So what is the future for Wrath of the Lich King Classic? Well, we get Phase 3 really soon, but we don't know if we're going to get Cataclysm. I guess we'll most likely get this, as it's going to be an easy way to mill customers. But then I'm also curious about one thing. How come they introduced the WoW token to Wrath of the Lich King all of a sudden and without even mentioning anything? Is this to milk us even further because the subscribers are going downhill? Or maybe it's because they don't even want to work on Cataclysm because they plan to stop after Wrath of the Lich King and then maybe work on the new classic experience. What is your opinion about these speculations? Let me know it in a comment below the video. I also see so many people commenting that they're going to quit right after Wrath of the Lich King, so they're not even going to play Cataclysm at all. I'm probably going to be in that category too. Maybe make a couple of guides if it's going to be released, but that's about it. In Wrath of the Lich King, I just play super casually. I do a raid once in a while, and right now I just wait for phase 3. Then I'll most likely be PvPing a lot until Hardcore is here, and then enjoy it for a couple of months before the baby is here. So depending on how Hardcore turns out to be, if it's going to flop and fail after a month, then private servers might have a bright time inside. Because beside this, Wrath of the Lich King Phase 3 is not going to be that fun. You're going to have a raid with 5 different bosses, and this you can do on normal and hard mode. So I expect a lot of players to probably quit when they've cleared Trial of the Crusader, and maybe died a couple of times on the hardcore character. And then they're probably looking for a new home, and this new home might be a private server. Or maybe they just decide to quit WoW for good. Or well, until the next fresh. Nonetheless, then there will at least happen a lot of things to those of you that still enjoy World of Warcraft, and who is either looking for something to do in Classic, Retail, or maybe on a private server. One thing you can expect is that I will continue releasing different videos and guides, either for Wrath of the Lich King Classic or Hardcore. And if you're still watching the video, then thank you so much for supporting me as a content creator. It means a lot to me that so many people watch my videos and have continued to do it throughout the years. It's definitely gonna be fun to see where this channel will be in one to two years, and what game I'll be playing by that time. Nonetheless, thank you so much for watching, and have an amazing day. Peace.